I could do a buddy cop movie like Rush Hour, like who would I put you in? And I just, it's hard. Careflex? See, but you two are you yeah, two are cut from the same cloth. You guys, yeah. you guys are cut from the same. You guys have energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I need somebody who's like, damn, con, con, <laughs> con. <laughs> yeah, I put that's this in with con, con. Can you imagine them working together? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I can't really imagine Yoshi and Rick working together either. So let's get into this match here. Well, you couldn't imagine it before this game came out. That's for sure. I yeah. Mean, to have a matchup like this, it's really special. Yeah, it is really special. Uh, so the last time I remember watching these two play, that's just me. So please don't take, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, Suga, uh, Suga was actually able to take it over T3 Dome, and he did really well. I'm not gonna lie, he did it really well. He kind of just like robbed them at the last second. He grabs the fire. I was gonna say this is an opportunity for him to go ahead and. I love it. The extension into the uh, the down air there. Yeah. You can get so much damage off that move. Mhm. Mm and uh, it's great for controlling space in the air. Yeah, get the fourth throw, put him off the stage. I'm surprised T3 actually went for the regular, like, leveled cross. Sometimes he goes for the hide, hide and cross. That way, if Shula does go for the grab, the cross will catch him. Oh, man, he's hitting all the angles. 45 degree angle like my geometry teacher told me. <laughs> yeah, the, that's crazy. Uh, I, I mean, you, when I first saw that Richter could just kind of angle his uh, back air there, it seemed just completely broken. Yeah. Uh, just the amount of, like, pressure you're able to make just with that move and the amount of space that you're able to threaten is, is insane. Yeah, a nice. Then it's facing here, the tip of the forward tilt. Well, not even the tip, actually, it's strong in general. We'll actually take care of Yoshi at that range. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd no tech. Oh, I felt like Suda had the jab reset, but he backed off. Yeah, I'd like to see some nares come out from uh, oh, T3. Yeah. I feel like, uh, uh, yeah, like that one. Yeah, I feel like he could beat out some of these areas that Yoshi has. Because uh, Sugar's just kind of trying to get up in his face a little bit. He has to. The thing about fighting a zoner like Richter, too, is you have to kind of like make sure when you're in the range, you don't leave it. You kind of just stay up and get your combo, and then you most likely, if a combo did not work, you walk away, and then you just come back to something else here. Oh, I like the cross-up, though. I like it. Definitely throw in the egg, trying to make him sure he's holding the shield a little bit longer, and you get the cross-up with the grab. Oh, oh nice. Uh, he missed that That's, one. Yeah, that could have been huge there. Uh, he missed the tipper there, right, for yeah. that smash? Yeah. Uh, longest tipper in the game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dash attack there, a little risky, but... Uh, Sugar unable to punish it. Oh, nice. And that's why I talked about how he likes to go for those aerial crosses because he can extend off of it and also stop leading, uh, stop Yoshi leading with jumps. That's kind of like when you limit the character to play the ground game, it does become really difficult for them too. Yeah, so much of what Yoshi has is is in the air. His, his, his drift, Ooh. his aerials, his combo game. A lot of that just comes from... Yeah. Up air. He has easily one of the longest lasting hitboxes in there. His aerial is pretty good. But one thing Yoshi does suffer is sometimes, like coming back on the stage, Yoshi does not have the best return to stage line. Uh, That's could true. I don't know what uh, earlier Sugar was going there with the tr retreating there. Yeah, he's, he's doing it again. I don't. Where is he? <laughs> what is he you, hoping to get on? Do you remember? If you, if, okay, look, I'm, I may I may show my age with this one. Do you remember back in the, in the Call of Duty Black Ops Two days when people would just throw the random axe across the state in the hole <laughs> and get a kill? That's what happened, man. He threw it across across the map. <laughs> he got the kill, dude. Shout out to those days, man. Just throw the tomahawk across the map. <laughs> oh, what's that? A hatchet to my shin? <laughs> guess I'll die. Yeah, yeah, guess I'll die. I remember those days. It was just random. You just walk out of the map. All you take is a hatchet to the shin and you're dead. It must be in those COD games, like, they don't have access to, like, medical attention. So if they just get cut, they just, like, immediately die. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only explanation. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I don't... The sugar... I don't think that retreating aerials are really helping him out in this matchup very much. No, he's trying to stay close to, and then even though the, the approaching back air was a solid option, the problem is here is now that T3 Dome is kind of caught up to that, okay, she was approaching me to kind of like stop my zoning, I have to just go ahead and space myself away from it. Yeah, in a matchup like this, you kind of have to play like you're dancing in and out of the, the range where you can punish. Always threatening, but not necessarily uh, going oh. for something. What happened there? I felt like he could have just reacted with Nair, hit him with the back end of Nair, and then go from there. Big thing about Sugar though, uh, is that I, uh, he is actually going for the end lag of a lot of um, T3 
two three domes like projectiles so that's when he makes his approach here he's kind of like okay i see the aerials then i will go for the m lag then hit him afterwards because even though rick here does have good zoning think about all zoners and lag and startup frames not the best yeah he is doing a good job of uh, in most cases putting himself in a position to punish a lot of the laggy B moves that richter has Back air. thing is that sugar i mean t3 is doing an equally good job of of putting these hitboxes in troubling places for Sugar. Yeah. And he's getting, a, in the last game especially, he was getting a lot of confirms off the Holy Water that really just uh, allowed him to do super well in this matchup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Yo we just noticed earlier uh, that Yoshi lands uh, with some of his aerials with his body flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that actually makes Richter's uh, whip whiff at some point. Yeah, if your char like, characters like Pikachu where they like back air, you really have to fly on the ground. Because they low profile, it becomes really difficult. Okay, well, I, I mean, at this point for T3 Dome, he kind of have like the right opportunity, like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to have to make sure I space a little bit more, hit this man with up tilt, stop his aerial game plan. Already, like, off the angled forward air. It's putting Suda in such a difficult spot. I felt like Suda kind of needs to stay calm, go back to that plan where he waits for T3 Dome's commitment like that and then punish him for it. That's where things are working out for him. Wait for, check the commitment, right? See if you paid the phone plan. And if you paid it, then go ahead and punish him and tell him, nah, son, I already canceled the plan. Might as well uh, switch to new phone company. Oh. Yeah, getting a good kill like that is, is so huge, I think, in a matchup like this, right? Because you're... Yeah, and we're seeing a huge combo here. Already, Sugar is starting to reverse this yeah. a little bit. Um, but just, sure, when you're down against the zoner, you have to approach, and that sucks, like, constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, but even more than that, I, I feel like once the game starts slipping away from you against the zoner, it, the mental damage is also a huge factor. Yeah. Because they have such a big lead here, and not only that, like you're starting to wonder, like, what can they do to actually get in the range? You just have to actually start downing your game plan if it even is worth to execute. So at that point, like I said, right, for Suka's concern, kind of like stay back, wait for the end lag, and then go in, and then that way he doesn't have to worry about too much, like you know, taking the losses. Okay. Yeah. Sugar not recognizing that the cost was out and getting punished for going for that fair there. Mm -hmm. um, now, in most situations, you like putting Richter off stage and, would, and uh, getting him there would be advantageous, but Sugar is already so close to dying here. He really can't take any more damage. And that cross, not killing. Uh, <laughs> off stage there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. T3 moves up 2 0 against Sugar. Thing here for him. Well, um, we're in winner semis, so I think there's one yeah, more best game. Five, yeah, best of five. Yeah. They do them best of fives. Sometimes the best movies you watch never come in fives, but in this case, it's not a movie, it's a game. So you are in the best of five situation. Um, really, let's think about it. Have you ever watched? Sorry, really off topic. Sometimes movies, they do good at the five movies, and then you're like, can you stop? Not, can you just not make a six one? And then we make a six one and just keep going. What? Don't worry about it. Let's just get into this game. Oh, terrible tangent. Let's go right back into it. No, I'm all about tangents. I just didn't understand. Anyway. <laughs> Some movies were never meant to be more than a trilogy. That's just it. Some movies weren't meant to have sequels. Facts. I hate it when they're directed to sequels. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how good... In this matchup, the landing eggs are either because I think in most cases, Richter's just gonna stand back and just kind of try to outspace you with the whips. Um, yeah, and it's really difficult for Yoshi to actually find an opportunity to get in. At this point, right, the way that TP Dome kind of has Sugar playing is like, he's just saying, if you come to me, look at how much projectiles you have to fight, shield, go through, you know, jump around, and then still. You also need to understand that I toss an axe. You're coming in. I'm going to go ahead and whip, whip punish you for coming in. That becomes difficult. So for sure, at this point, right, like it, it's how how can I stay calm and how can I avoid Ooh. going into options like that where I take 29% off the bat and just oh, fall off the I'm cross. loving these setups. I'm watching my boy get blown up here, but I'm telling you, it becomes really daunting. 
So what do you feel about this counter pick, Vance? Um, you're able to act. Well, see, both characters really benefit off this. That's because even though this, I, I kind of tell people like Yoshi's sometimes like the poor man's fox, just no shine, no side B. <laughs> <laughs> you know, has really great aerials. Pretty much has his own vortex, right? Good nair, good up air, things like that. Like Fox, um, Yoshi just really is able to carry characters on the platforms like this on Battlefield. Big problem here is that even though he's able to carry characters, look at the way how Richter is able to do the same, right? He's able to have those big hitboxes that do sneak up on the platforms, and he avoids damage. Uh, good catch on the egg. Yeah, slowly I, coming back. I definitely feel you're right about Yoshi. He gets some extensions on his combos. Um, and I think the bla larger blast zones for sure help Yoshi more because Richter's just going to die if you hit him far enough off stage. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, Richter really, I think, benefits from being able to have these platforms to retreat under. It takes a lot, uh, it takes away some options uh, uh, to approach him. And um, yeah. I, I can kind of think of what else. He can, yeah, use a lot of axes and, and uh, projectiles to kind of uh, catch oh. you while you're on the platform. Yeah, the, and sometimes what happens with Yoshi and a lot of characters is when you do get hit by any of the projectiles that Richter does have, the hit stun that you do receive is enough for Richter to confirm it into another move. So you have to be really careful each time you do it, like, okay. Yes. Ooh, that nice. was good, that was good. He was able to take it. And that's kind of like one of those things he needs to do, right? When he does get Richter off the stage, capitalize immediately because you can't even things up to a T. And that can be a tricky re read to make. Uh, in certain situations, Richter has to tether to the ledge and only has like a small window. Yeah. But if Richter is closer, he has a lot of leeway in, as to when he uh, grapples or uh, tethers to ledge and uh, when he brings himself in. Yeah. So, um, it's, I mean, it, you see players land that, but it's actually pretty difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, big swing there for Sugar. It could be what he needs to turn this game around. Okay. Oh, nice. Can out a shield for the jab. Nice. And he waits for the get up roll because he knows that he uh, he knows at this point T3 doesn't want to be any closer to the ledge, so he's going to try to aim for the center state and so he just capitalizes by eating people. Uh, he's looking to bring him closer, another now to oh, shield. Gets caught by the holy water there. He really could have had the chance to make something happen off stage, but uh, I'm putting a trade there for Sugar. Up the other shield? Yeah. Uh, not as fast as Marts, but it works in similar tangent where like the arc is pretty good and it does it's a really good get off the option. I thought he was gonna go for upper, but I guess he wanted to see if Yusuke was gonna go ahead and go for a retreating option to go to the platform. Well, look for one of those. Nice. Ooh. And he, oh, oh, and he barely misses it. misses it too, out of fear of getting hit by the Nair. Uh, not very happy about that one. I don't blame him though. Yusuke slowly, he needed a game. That's kind of like a confidence checker for him. Like if I'm able to just at least take a game. I can slowly look to bring things back. Okay, it looks like we're going to Kalos here. Uh, I like. I, I feel like uh, Sugar really used the platforms pretty well in that one, and his ability to kind of maneuver around what T3 was doing. So this is a good choice from T3. He can sort of. I mean, he has that huge open space. Most likely, he should go banned oh, after no. him. That's going to make it really difficult for D3. Yeah. Um, not this is, uh, <laughs> when, you, when you lose a close game like this, and not only that, like losing a close game, but also like as being at a point where it's really crucial out of game four, like it can be. Uh, can we put it out? Yeah, I wouldn't say that T3 is completely out of this, though. No. I mean, he's, uh, he's on his counter pick. He just needed to make sure that if the controller he was holding was a game control and not a Mad Cat's controller. That's what he needed to do. <laughs> yeah, am, I hold, am I holding the Mad Cat's controller I get to my brother, or am I holding mine? Like... Nope. No, no Mad Cats, please. Been yeah, down right? that road. That, that company had such a really interesting stigma, I guess, producing that. No, that's a good quality controllers. Anyways. Forward air, nice. Up with the up tilt. Keep this man up in the stage. Off of the stage, actually. Yeah, combos like that are going to just keep T3 out of this game. Mm -hmm. 
know in that it just yet. T3 does toss in all the projectiles though, to make sure that Yoshi does have a difficult time. This is causing Suga to go for the higher option, and I felt that that's what T3 needed to capitalize is, okay, if I have this entire area covered with projectiles, I need to project the most obvious option is Yoshi coming up from an aerial. Oh, nice. Yeah, sure. I, I think Yoshi has a, a, a secret buff, or a secret advantage that a lot of players don't really think about, which is uh, this character is like deceptively heavy. So in a lot of situations where you think you might get a kill on Yoshi, have you seen those boots? Just sort of lives. Yeah. Those are those. Are, I'm I'm sure, man. If I were a dinosaur wearing boots, they'd be heavy too. So that, yeah, there's a lot of situations like the firms that kind of like a lot of players will go for, and I, I feel like it's so huge when you get a, a kill confirm, but they're like slightly outside of the percent and they live because you used you had that read you know and now you got to go and find it find your way in all over again oh okay so far t you're doing a really good job just kind of keeping uh pseudo kind of like edge trap he's not trapped at the ledge but he's trapping the edge of the stage here nice big yeah. look it's a cross up here with the back air i would have to have seen if he was able to confirm it to a nair but i'm pretty sure t has labbed up a couple percent t3 getting grabbed here yeah, normally yoshi's grabbed Ooh. not that scary but and the parry <laughs> but if you're uh Victor, you don't want to be on stage all right sugar fourth throw yeah so here i i like how he wasn't really throwing out a lot of aerials out there just kind of expecting Retreat and uh, oh, man. <laughs> preempt the pop off. Leg. Yeah. Oh, gets hit by the. Oh, that was so close. I mean, could have maybe nared there or something. But it's kind of sort of sneak, snuck around. Yeah. Nair. Oh, yo, he Sugar's went go. all for it. Yeah. He went for it all, man. Live, he said there was money. That. He said, fam, there's money off the stage. If I go for it now, I can walk away a rich man. <laughs> okay, T3 opting not to punish the down B. Uh, but you will get a punish that time. You have to watch out for Yoshi when he goes for the down B, man. You might actually see stars, especially if it breaks the shield. Okay, yeah. As far as characters... Oh, T3 looking to rob this man. ...that you play that just... I mean, T3 can't take, take damage here, right? Yeah, he if cannot. You're, if you're playing Richter, though, I feel like... It's that's one of the easier characters not to take damage as now. And just with the his ability to zone. Now he's when he gets into bad spots like this though, it's oh Sugar is so close, he smells oh, he, he his knows. kill, he, but at this point like T3 has adapted to the fact that Sugar has been crossing him up with aerials every single time. So he knows like he's gonna cross me up, but finally gets the egg confirmed and he puts this man off the stage. Suga moving to game five. What seemed like Mission Impossible, man, is the seventh movie in the, the new series, man. Tom Cruise keeps making them happen, and Suga keeps out here making them happen for himself, too. Are you talking about Mission Impossible? Yeah, it was like seven movies over. I thought There's the nine Fast and the Furious, for Christ's sake. Nine! I, I like that a lot of Mission Impossible movies are just lead-ups to, his, to, his, to Tom Cruise's latest stunt. Yes. And then that's it. Yes. <laughs> and each time, each time it's a stun, some cruise is like broken something. Like the last time he actually did like uh, dislocate a leg, and he did walk away like with a loop and everything. Was, yeah, uh, they, they like hung him from a. They like hung him from a plane. Yeah. And then yeah, I was just like, oh well, what's next? He's just mm -hmm. gonna get himself attached to like some sort of like Jericho missile. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise is real life Nathan Drake. Yeah, he is. And you know what's crazy is like I don't know how many times I heard Vin Diesel tell me one last ride. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Does that last ride looking last a little bit too long? You, you, uh, you know what he says more than one last ride? Right. Family. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, family. family. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's how they convince anybody oh, to do anything. Like, no, man, I don't want to go to WNF. Fam. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, all right, one last round. Let's do this. For the fam? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not, man? I'll, I'll see you at Thanksgiving. What's weirder to me is, like, there are these, I mean, these movies are, like, I mean, there's, like, seven or eight in the series. Mm -hmm. And there are some people out there who haven't seen one. Like, this is, like, we're get, reaching, like, Lord of the Rings level of, like backstory and and characters and all this stuff, right? Yeah, Unless they're yeah, like yeah. continually retconning this. I haven't seen. I've only seen one. 
Which one? The first wanted? one. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I want to know the, 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 what was the correct answer. Oh, and T3 Dom sneaks in the area, but unfortunately the bounce back on Suga will still allow him to survive and T3 loses it. I'm telling you, he had the entire set on lock and now Suga has slowly brought this back. He just needed a game. Fans, I stopped paying attention and it's all, it's all your fault. He's <laughs> talking about Fast and the Furious, man. Yeah. Well, uh, oh. he, uh, he, he calls it quits. I respect it. If you, if you don't like how it's going and you don't want to, you don't want to just go ahead and take any more of it. There's nothing wrong with unplugging the control and saying, you know what, my mind's not in it. If my mind's not in it, there's no way my heart is in it. So I'll call it quits, man, and I'll see you. Uh, see you lose. See you grand finals. 